I have no idea it's, what today is. I guess ta- technically it's, it's June 1st or something. It's, it's tap Carson dancing day. It's what? Tap dancing day. Tap what? dancing day? National tap dancing National day. National tap dancing day. What does that mean? It means it's national tap dancing day. Have you ever tap danced? I just did. Is that tap dancing or clogging? What's the difference? Do we know? It depends on how heavy you are. Oh. Huh. There you go. That, doesn't that make sense? It might well, depend on where you're from. That must be why our friend Sierra from Tennessee sent Uh-oh. us a little goodie bag. Oh, is that the little uh, Debbie girl? Oh, is it the little Debbie girl? you my hero. I used to love her. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Oh, that's now I just love Unwrap a smile. Does anybody want some patriotic brownies? Boy, I do. Uh, patriotic anything. No, I'll pass you know I'm patriotic. Now. I could eat that whole box. What else you got? Do it then. Patriotic cakes. Oh, yeah. The Chocolate white, and white, vanilla. White cake. Wait, red, is white, and blue. red, white, and blue cake. stuff? Okay. Have got America, son. We got Memorial Day. Ah, and wow. we got the July the 4th. Good girl. All wrapped in one package. God bless America. Hey, okay, y'all turn it on the radio if you want to hear that. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll gladly stand That's pretty up. awesome. Oh, we got we went next to you <laughs> in the fender still today. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, that song we got an America mashup. That song's so. Who's good. got Lenny Kravitz? I just figured you'd go with American Woman, but maybe not. Oh, oh it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a I love the rain kind of guy. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> so that hat's legit. That is an interesting. You ain't gonna say nothing. No, that's what? an interesting. You show lid. up in like a Steve Irwin crocodile Dundee hat. Well, that was a that did a Pioneer Woman collection. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's an Aussie, Aussie part of the hat, that boy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that got me. But I got my colorful clothes on. Yeah, you do. You ready to go fishing? You got your right. fishing jersey that's what, on. That's son. what I was fixing to ask guy with. What? What have you been catching? Fish. Fish. It's one of those on? secretive type. Look, the silver bullet, baby. You can check it. You can check it out on Finn Commander's YouTube channel, Si. Oh, oh okay. Thank oh, you. Is, that, is it already on there? It will be by the time they hear this. You been catch? It's you been to catch any big chinky pins? No. Chinky pins? What? I don't know where them things are going. Really? Did you try to catch some? I I got in there a little bit too late. I should have been there when them MLF boys was there, but. I didn't want to get on a brush pile. And I was like, I want an air fishing brush pile. We couldn't even get in it. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. A, that's what it is. I'm just sad I didn't go with wearing the hat and having the uh, headphones on. Well, I tried. He tried. I tried it, but didn't. Did work. you drive your truck? Uh, yeah, I drive a truck, though. I know. Yeah. No, do no, you? No. No. <laughs> you have a truck that dressed suspiciously like your hat and your oh, shirt, yeah, too, right? Yeah. Did you drive that? Yeah, the billboard. Yeah. Yeah, it's Did you drive out, it today? It's, out, it's parked out in my front yard. <laughs> it is. That way everybody, I, I everybody, everybody, everybody that drives down by. that road know to get some That's right. Everybody come like by. one of them hey. politicians hey. Hey. Yeah. stuck hey. out there. As I hate to, to, uh, to tell you. General best customers. Right. But most of the people that travel down that road just yeah. smoke their flowers. They don't put them in a vase. <laughs> That's about <laughs> right. I mean, That's that is what right. it is. They're listening. Well, hey, multi-purpose. <laughs> Multi purpose. <laughs> <laughs> makes her happy that, and boys. you makes her happy and you too. Hey, that's uh, it, hey. Happy, happy, happy. I lost my computer, by the way. Where's it at? Oh. I don't know. I don't I knew something was wrong. It's in the last yeah. place you put it. You can't no you can't fact check me. Yeah, well, I got a phone. He got a phone. But said, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. I feel naked over here. <laughs> Have you misplaced it for real? It's somewhere in my house. It's got to oh, be. Okay. But I bet I put it somewhere that made sense to me, and then my wife moved it. Okay. That'll Ooh. happen. That'll happen. Is that there something is. that continues to That's why to they happen? always find, know where to find stuff. You notice a woman always knows where to find stuff. Because she put it there. Because she right. hid it. You can't yeah. find it, and you're looking around. Like I, she said, if it wasn't for me, you couldn't find nothing. Well, if you wouldn't put it somewhere. Well, if you wouldn't move it. Yeah. That's why I tell them, do not touch my little table. Beside my recliner. It's amazing. They can find, find it's everything. Just filed up. It's filed up with junk. Every time I got to find something, I got to go through it. That's it. But we the same way. Like if I went to look in your boat for something, I wouldn't be able to find that nothing. Wouldn't be able to find but it. Would no. you but move you'd, it? you'd be able to go. Yeah, right you'd be it. able to put a blindfold on but it. But would you move it? The house is the woman's boat. That's right. You know? You're right. That's, that's, the, that's the deal. That's why right. you can't find nothing. Yeah. 
Because, like, you go in my boat right now, if you asked for something and I told you where it was, you'd probably be like, well, that don't make sense. Mm-mm. I'd be like, well, it does to me. But it does to him. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the way it is. Interesting. Why you go fishing with other people is kind of hard because your boat is your tackle box. Yeah. It is hard. <laughs> it is very hard. Yeah. What? A- <laughs> yeah. Now, where is that? What is that? Yeah. What no, I mean? there done that. Who? Gobble. I could have used you yesterday. What at? My truck quit on me. Where was you at? On Foresight, taking Brittany to get a root canal. Oh, well, I think good. She talked funny when she got through. And she was talking real funny when it broke down and we hadn't made it there yet. Oh. Oh, y'all hadn't made it. You you were on your way. Uh-huh. We're on, we on our way there. Well, and I didn't the get a phone got... call. And the truck just stopped? It just quit. She quit on me. I, the, my, uh, what did he say? The, the deal that holds my timing chain broke. My timing chain still fine. Your idler the deal yeah. that holds. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That little he said that he called it like the guide or something. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, but he yep. said that broke. He gone. It's so is just, the engine just shut it, off? Uh, you wore it in two. You've been driving too much. <laughs> well, I fixed say, What's the mileage? <laughs> oh, my truck two hundred seven thousand. What I'm talking about. Seven thousand. Mm-hmm. Got it paid for. Oh, it's been paid for. Mm-hmm. That's why this one's getting fixed. I don't want a truck note. So uh, yeah. I get That's it back in about a week. About. What's that? Something like that. Things drive. Well, another they just keep drive. going. I didn't know. I, I that's the first time it's ever happened to me though. I just driving and all of a sudden there was nothing. I said, "Huh, hmm. interesting." Yeah. And then when I went to turn the key over, I was like, "Yeah, that ain't that ain't it." That don't sound like. But that. a nice fan stopped and helped me push it out of the middle of the road. That's good. Asked right, me dude. how many ducks I killed and if I'd killed any turkeys, and then he left it with, "Man, it's good to see one of y'all broke down." Yeah, <laughs> he said y'all are real people. You Check know? you later. I you, said, have, you have ordinary problems. I yep. said absolutely, buddy. I yeah. said two hundred and seven thousand yeah. miles. She'll do this to you, I guess. So yep. you know, mm. my wife called you me gotta, this morning. You got to do maintenance on it every once in a while. Yeah, th- this has been the best truck I ever owned because other than standard maintenance, this is the first problem I would say that it's had. Other than just regular. Yep tires oil changes you know all that kind of stuff that you take care of but my uh, wife's air conditioner went out this morning yeah that is no bueno i mean it's good it's good because we still in may and it ain't july but yeah she said it's hot (laughs) she called me i was like i would bring it by here then the bridge was up and it was a whole disaster but she made it home i'm gonna try and fix air conditioner we got 140 thousand miles on that rig Till the wheels fall off. The kid's too dirty to get something new. Amen, buddy. Mm-hmm. I accused my mom of being the problem. What'd she do? You well, look, that see, about your so, mother? <laughs> because my dad, you know, when he passed, we kept all of his trucks. So every now and then, I'll go park my truck at her house and drive on his. Just keep them running. Keep yeah. them running. Keep the diesel yeah. running and keep keep his other truck, which I'm in right now. Thankfully, we didn't get rid of him because we got an extra vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> But I keep them running. So I left mine over at her house, and she just couldn't stand it no more, and she washed all the mud off my truck. I said, well, when you did that, you washed a piece off that was holding that together. That's right. <laughs> I said, there's a reason I don't clean that mm-hmm. thing. That now right you got to go run back through the mud up. Yeah. Huh. I said, now I'm going to go get mud on the on the top again just to make sure that all the mud yeah. gets back in the right yeah, places, holding the rest of it together. <laughs> it was holding this truck. Yeah. yeah. It's I, the old theory, if it's not broke, don't fight with it. Well, his is broke, though. Yeah, mine is officially broke. Wow. We are B R O K E broke. It was so bad at first, it wouldn't even go into neutral. Really? Old steering wheel lock, you know, the oh, steering wheel lock worse. trick. And then, because yeah. you ain't got power steering in, so it's hard to turn that wheel. But yeah, I, it does. All the power you got. <laughs> I said, it's a good thing I've been toting around them 20-pound youngins Ooh, yeah. because I was able to finally jar that steering wheel loose, got it neutral, and then a, a very nice uh, Washtenaw pair of sheriff's officer uh, steered the truck while me and uh, my hunting buddy, who, whoever it. he was, pushed yeah. it. Yeah. So It's always nice to stop and help somebody push yeah. the car. That's oh, yeah, and there was another guy trying to stop. I mean, another guy was stopping to help, but I was like, no, nah, man, we got it. He Because he was like, you need help pushing? I was like, I mean, maybe, but I think we got it. And by the time he got parked, we already had it. I said, man, thank you for, for stopping anyway. It's just good to know go. that still exists in America, mm-hmm. that people will get out. I've helped push a many of them, so that's the first time I've ever needed it, and there were a couple of guys there willing to do it. So I can I can appreciate that. But it, it was kind of a lonely feeling sitting on the tailgate of your broke-down truck waiting on somebody to come get it mm. while your wife's getting a root canal. Yeah. <laughs> How far from the dentist was you? About a quarter mile. 
She jogged? Oh, just walked down there. The first thing she said was, how am I supposed to get there? I said, well, I recommend you walk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can see the sign. I, all I was worried about was not dying on Forsyth with people not, because yeah. I, I mean, I'm sitting out there in the middle, got my flashers on, and they act like, I guess they're texting, they're, they ain't paying no attention. They're locking their brakes up. I'm like, bro, I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This isn't new. I'm sorry. And the I'm flashers yeah. are on. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. If if yeah. I could have moved it already, I would have. Like yeah. I, I'm trying to. That's in the middle of me trying to hang off my steering wheel to get to where I can yeah. put it in neutral. Like, Golly. yeah, quarter so. of a mile. That's as long as a drag strip, you know. Yeah, it's just right there. Oh, I can see it. Called a track. Oh, oh. So. But then the dentist. She called a dentist office, and the receptionist come down there and got her and took her down there. That was nice. Did that thing. Yeah. I asked huh. him when I paid the bill. I said, does, "Does that include the delivery, <laughs> the pickup and delivery?" Yeah. I said, the "Fuel yeah. surcharge." I said, "I'm, I'm yeah. totally okay with paying for it since y'all were so kind to do yeah. that." And she started laughing. She said, "No, honey, we've all been broke down before." I said, "Well, Ooh. I have now. I never had before then, but I have now." So there anyway, real life happens. Let's take a break, and we'll be back right after this. Hi. Right. I've heard of people complaining at the honey hole about you. Well, that's, uh, nobody complains uh-oh. about me. Do y'all have HR to Honey Hole? Except for my mom. I ain't counting their mothers, um, right? No, there's no HR. Big Dave is the end-all, be-all, see-all. Okay. Yeah, so, but they say you kind of lippy. No, it's not even about lippy. The man got a new fishing kayak, and he ain't been at work in three days. Oh, Ooh. that's well. Hey. well I that's, wish uh, that was hey, true. <laughs> my book, that's getting lippy if you ain't showing up. I mean, so next hey. thing you know, Big Dave's going to be on the phone with Bambi, <laughs> and you may be out of a job. That's it. Uh-oh. Big Dave don't strike me as one who cares about your last name, so I don't know, you know. But the cool thing is he won't have to do it because he's got an automated HR manager. Yeah, that's that's true. pretty awesome. He'd be like, hey, call this number right here. And the next thing you know, you walking out with your termination Uh-oh. papers with your brand new kayak. At least you'll be able to fish. That mm-hmm. is a good thing. We can eat. That is a you hopefully. Well, you uh, you be able to fish. I didn't say nothing about catching. But with Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting just ninety nine dollars per month. They're available by phone, email, and real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. See, Big Dave, I mean, he can do it. Won't, won't hurt him a bit. Team members reach peak performance. Not sure we're going to get there. but And your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. Look, it's really cool because when you do call Bambi, you get your dedicated HR manager, United States of America-based. So the conversation's easy. You're not stuck in, in long wait times. You've got somebody there that knows your business and knows small business to help you, you out. You have to reset. HR managers can easily cost eighty grand a year, but Bambi starts at just $99 per month. You can schedule your free conversation today, see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It will really help our show. Spelled Bam, B-E-E dot com, Bambi.com and type in Duck Call Room. Man, do you see that deal with Burnsy? Uh-uh. My friend Burnsy, you remember him? Yeah, but I saw on Facebook a, a guy that filmed for us, and and we'll we'll I'll throw this out there to our fans because we're we're a praying bunch. A guy that filmed Duck Dynasty, his name's Chris Burns, was just diagnosed with stage four liver failure. Wow. Um, and Burnsy's uh, Burnsy was there from the jump. He was yeah. second season. He wasn't first season, but second season all the way on to the. Till it till it ended, Burnsy yeah, was yeah. with us, and uh, so Chris, I don't know if you even keep up with us anymore, but we keep up with you mildly. So we we'll be praying for you, buddy. Sure, um, yeah, basically, I think it said his only he's just got to wait for a transplant now. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is his only chance of well, we'll be survival. But we know a great healer, so it's not his only chance of survival. So if you if you guys feel led, podcast fans. Um, Lift up our buddy Chris Burns in your prayers. He, the deal with Duck Dynasty is the whole crew. We were together so much that the whole crew was like family. Between Jim, Chris, uh, Candace, I mean, I can go through the whole list of people that I haven't seen in forever. D Rock, like, and you know, you just all these, all these Jim. people. You, Jenna, yeah, Jim Orr, big, and then um, you got uh, Odie big the big big gym and so um 
we spent a lot of i'll say this during that we spent more time with them than we did our own family so <laughs> like they became our family so uh johnny i mean i just start thinking of all the people that worked on it's kind of cool to look back on it but yeah i hated to see that I mean, you hate because chris is young i mean he's not mm. i mean he's got to be mid 40s maybe max early mid 40s so still got in theory a lot of life ahead of him so don't, don't ever know but anyway there you go that's your update on duck dynasty <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Really, it was a TV right. show. I didn't know the clock was going to be running. I was just going to tell Goblin off camera, but yeah. yeah. But when I saw it running, you know what? There's a reason clock was running because Burns yeah. making a few yeah. prayers, man. Power of prayer. It's a wonderful thing. It is. And I, that's reminds me about why are you living your best life? If you're not, you have that opportunity. Yeah. It's it's that important. It is. Are you living your best life? Though? I'm trying to. You give it heck, don't you? Yep, I'm trying Look to. Look at that smile on his face. Yep. I'm just looking at them two shirts over there. Them two boys is proud and living, son. Are you here to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> they match. Let them know. Let them know. They kind of match, don't they? They do match. We're ready for a day on the water, Martin. The, everything matches except their footwear. Those are very different. <laughs> <laughs> we got some Nike and, and, and some Duck socks. Commander clogs from 2012 I, that they don't make no more. I like socks and hey, no I socks. Like just where I can slip them on and kick them off. You can slip down. I would actually... Right. If my feet would toughen up, I'd actually go barefooted. Well, then, we, then we'd call you Godwin. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you, because, hey, but, hey, my feet used to be tough. Oh, they feet. ain't tough as they used to be. I, yeah. I walked out there in the yard the other day, and I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Without <laughs> shoes? Was it stickers or rocks? Both. Both. Acorns. Is that a normal thing? That you M.O. Acorns. Just walk through your M-O. yard with no shoes? Godwin don't wear shoes. I hate wearing he's, shoes. he's our OSHA's worst nightmare. Here, he take off walking through that warehouse barefoot. I do. I kick off my shoes when I get here, and I put them on when I walk out the door. Well, I understand why Phil don't wear. Phil doesn't wear shoes. Yeah. Oh no, he he goes he goes, yo. Know, but his feet, yo. Know, he says it's because he when we was growing up with we so poor, he could he didn't have the right size shoes. Uh, and that's where them big, that's where them big knobs come. Formed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I understand why he goes barefooted. He squirrel hunts barefooted. I know that. Oh no, he said. Asked me. He said, "You seen my shoes by your deer stand?" <laughs> oh no, no, no. I just he, no. he he found a bunch of squirrels on the Arkansas Louisiana line, and that was in the, when I was in the army, and I'd come in and go hunt with him, and I'd give him army socks, which are real thick. And that's what he'd have. He'd wear army socks, you know. And he took me hunting there once, and he said, "Oh, I forgot to tell you when we just we just split up, take off." He yelled, "Hey, I forgot to tell you." And I saw that. He said, "For every squirrel, there's ten poisonous snakes." Yeah, there well, he hey, ain't wearing shoes, and he ain't wearing shoes. No. Nah. Okay, I've seen him step beside so many snakes that just they open their mouth. Yeah, but didn't bite him. Now, I got a question. He rakes yeah. him beaver dams towards him, and he rakes them in his, just round his feet. Are squirrels really that slick where you don't need shoes? Are they really what? That slick. That Well, he, hey, he said he, he did it because he could feel a, like a little limb under his feet. He runs. He, he wouldn't those. break it. He'd you know, lift his feet and put it forward. I saw my, you know what that tells me about that man? He was hungry. Yeah. He <laughs> if you worrying about breaking a stick, squirrel hunting, you was hungry. Oh no, no, no. Well you were hunting you were days. hunting to survive. It was not merely a pastime. Well, in them days That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm being actually, honest. Well, yo, yo, know, that's like, yo, know, you didn't waste that ammo. Yeah, that's survival hunting there. That's not like oh, fun. Yeah. Like Yeah, this is this is serious business, okay? Cause like, you know, whatever we uh Brought back to the house. Mm-hmm. That will supplement meals. Yeah, that's I've got to eat squirrels, yeah. not I yeah. want to eat. Squirrels. Well, that's my favorite game. Yeah. Okay, I could eat right now if mm. you get if you would kill twenty young fox squirrels or cat squirrels. Mm. I would eat every one of them. Twenty of them? No, you wouldn't them. either, because I'm gonna keep me at least two. Hey, of cut them his head off, and then all you got is the legs, back. You know, I'd eat twenty of them. squirrel dumplings. Twenty of them. 
No, forget the squirrel dumpling. Oh, Buddy, with good. a pot fried squirrel oh, with like rice and gravy and bis- that homemade biscuits. What you looking at? I was making sure that wasn't Bill Dance calling you. Oh. Um, <laughs> I would have got that. Right. We'd have put him on the air, buddy. <laughs> We'd have got him again. That's right. We'd... But no, squirrel, <laughs> fried squirrel with rice, gravy, and biscuits. Uh, and then a Bay Hall jelly for a little dessert. Praise be. I'm yeah. not a big squirrel yeah. guy. Yeah, me and Mr. Rober probably wouldn't see eye to eye. I did go watch some of them squirrel videos after y'all turned me on to that. How, did you get just lost in them? Fat Gus is pretty tight. <laughs> Told you. Like, my kids will be watching it. I'm like, hey, scoot over. Like, I'd buy a Fat Gus shirt. Well, we've, we've talked about this before, but there's a lot of folks out there that don't know it, that squirrels <clears throat> migrate. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. The migration. The, the great, great migration, migration of 92. Migration. That was height. That was in 1972. I, you said 82. Okay. <laughs> we, right, we's all around it. No, no. I'm this serious. is story number but, 72. Hey, but that was something to see. Okay. Because you don't ever, ever see, like, go in the woods and just everywhere you look, limbs are shaking. And everywhere, I mean, everywhere you look in the trees, limbs are shaking. And you're looking and on the logs laying down, there's varmints running. I wouldn't want to be there. Oh, no, that cool would say. What through. if the squirrels turned on you, though? Uh, no, they didn't turn on me. But I mean, how many but, squirrels could you legitimately defend yourself from? Probably well, like, I carried like two boxes of shells. So he was good for fifty of them. <laughs> I was good for fifty of but them. But after that, it's going to be a battle. Yeah. Now Phil, he <laughs> carried like four hundred squirrels came out. Phil, Phil carried four boxes. Mm. Okay, because that was back in the day when uh, limits. That didn't even come into play. They were just suggestions. Yeah, yeah. that was a suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean no. you had to. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't law. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. hard to say. This but I just, I just want to end that in there. Yeah. No. Or do migrate like ducks. Yeah, they do. That's Everything right. will migrate yeah. if it comes to eating and yeah. surviving. Yeah. Man, hey, you look at yeah, us. When it, the food source. It all goes to heck down depends, here. We're going to yeah. leave here and go somewhere to eat. Yeah. Probably it depends Texas, on the food but. source of the <laughs> range that they'll have. Yeah. Because that's like the mountain lion. Hill's range is up to 400 miles. As far as I'm concerned, that rat's going to stay in the mountain. That's, uh, that's why they're so skinny. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Hey. They in that arm range is You ain't ever seen miles. a fat one. Uh-uh. <laughs> if, if, like, the rabbit population is low and all that stuff, whatever they eat, if it's low, they'll range up to 400 miles yeah, nah. of food. I guess uh, we know what was on PBS last night. Yeah. Was it? They got some good stuff. <laughs> Would you drive 400 PBS miles to go eat and come back home? Not on day one. I'd probably I'd probably give it a few days, but I guess if I had to, it meant the difference. Mc- I ain't gonna drive nowhere right now because my truck broke down. <laughs> M- McMillan sent me a picture twenty minutes ago. He's in Longview eating at that uh, edible barbecue right now. Is he really? It was so good he went back. So is that yeah. what he just told you? Is he bringing back a platter? Oh, he sent no, me a picture bringing, of three ribs. Back. Three ribs. Three What's ribs. that gonna do? He ain't bringing that. That's back. all that was left. Unreal. All right. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. All right, boys. Drink it while it's hot. Are you still drinking it while it's hot? Drink it while it's Luke, not hot. It's Luke. All right. Well, if you hear Godwin talking about drinking while it's hot, you know we're talking about AG1 by Athletic Greens. I will tell you what, hot or cold, it's going to do. It's going to make your gut health better, increased energy, immune system support. Look, if you hate taking pills and vitamins, hey, this is- Hey, that's my best part right there. One scoop? One scoop. And hey, you get 75 of the best minerals, uh, whatever else your Vitamins. system needs. You ain't got to keep system. up with all of it. Hey, 75? 75 you know how much, is a lot. You, know, you would have to go talk to a pharmacist. Just to say, think hey, how many pills you'd have yeah, to take. Yeah, how many pills you'd have to take to get 75? And that's exactly right, because AG1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. It's yeah. the healthy, healthiest thing you can do in hey. under a minute. One yes. scoop. In a jug of water, shake it up, drink it every morning. Probably cold water, but God will say no. something crazy here Luke. in any second. Hey. Drink it, Luke. Drink it, hey, Luke. I go Perry hey. Mason on you. I have no more questions. No more no questions. More questions. <laughs> Look, it fits into any lifestyle, whatever you are, yeah. gluten free, dairy free. It works for you. And you'd be amazed because when you take this, A, you're regular, which Colin is a good Grandin. thing. You ain't going to be irregular. 
and you just feel better all around. This specifically says just mix the powder into ice cold water and drink it first thing each morning. That's it. So that's the advice I'm going to give you. It'll take care of you. I love it. Stone loves it. McMillan loves it. We're all taking it. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to athleticgreens.com slash duck. That's athleticgreens.com slash duck. Check it out. No, Martin, I'm telling you. What? The generation right behind me, eh, not so much. The generation after them, I got a little faith. The hustlers? The hustlers. You mean the ones that were born of people of our generation? The last hustling generation? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Problem. A little older than me, I guess, because yeah. these kids. Well, yeah, kind of like me, about five, six years older than you. We had, we basically mm. had Young Entrepreneur Day uh, the other day at the store. Well, what was they doing? It was fantastic. So I got a group of boys that they remind me of what Willie probably was at this age. A swindler. No, oh. no, they were just constantly outside. <laughs> they they set trot lines in in the, they live close to the river, so and they will swim out there to them. I ain't got no boat. So they're just, they're constant. Like sometimes they come to the store. I'm like, boys, we got to shower before because they, they get a little, they got to get a little rank, hmm. get a little musty. Yeah, but they're awesome. You, that just reminds me of my childhood when you said they swim out. Yeah. Oh, they, that's what me and were. Phil and Tommy would actually, we'd sign the bait out of ponds, okay? Crawfish, perch, shiners, all that. Whoever got caught in the net. No, no, what? Well, no, no, yeah, whatever got yeah. caught in the sink. Yeah. Okay. Put it in number three wash tub full of water to keep them alive. Carry that, you know, put it in the car, get to the levee, carry it over to Red River, and then we would go, like if there was a sandbar in the middle of it, we'd swim to the sandbar and then set lines out on the shallow side, both sides of that sandbar. And of course, we'd have to, whenever we run them, I had to swim over. If it was at night, hey, swim over, run them, okay, and then come back. Hmm. But that, you saw that fun. Were you the bait guy? Huh? Were you the bait guy? No, we all, I, I figured didn't get to do the fun part, you know, take them off. That was Tommy and Phil. Yeah. You know, I was just help, helping them tote, help them catch them and everything. You were there for moral support. Yeah. 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 Well, these yeah. kids, they buy worms from me, and then they caught some giant grinnel. I one of Noah I call the garter. That's a man. prehistoric oh, yeah. fish. That they're you're only into about. prehistoric fish. Yeah. No, no. A grill is prehistoric fish. Well, they're into gar too. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, Noah, he's, Craven, he's prehistoric. CJ, and Carter. Well, the other Monday they come in the store and they're like, I got I gotta talk to you. And I was like, What's up, guys? And they said, I got a business proposition. <laughs> and I was like, I'm always thinking. I feel like I'm going to lose in this situation. Yeah, always thinking. Because like they come, they'll they'll show up at five forty five, and like if I take the trash out, can I get some red worms? And you know, sometimes I let them, sometimes I don't. Yeah. It just depends on if I need hey, the trash. Down that's there. better than cutting a zip tie off and hey. putting it in their pocket. Hey, yeah. Amen. Hey. So I love these kids. But so they come in, they said we got a lemonade stand, and I said what? They said we set up a lemonade stand in the neighborhood, and they made pretty good money on. Uh, Sunday, and they said, "What is lemonade going for today?" It's two bucks a cup. Two bucks a cup. Okay. So, so they said, "That gum inflation, man." What oh, size cup? Uh, red Solo cup. Red Solo. Oh, that's pretty good. Do they good fill it up? Of, uh, they yeah, fill it up. Pretty good. Okay. We're we're changing the recipe next time yeah. they come. But but they said, "Can we can we have some space outside for a lemonade stand, uh, and we'll give you ten percent?" <laughs> and I said, "Hey, that's a pretty good deal." I hey. said, "Here's the deal." You don't have to give me ten percent, but you you gotta make a sign that says you're raising money for red worms. And hey, they showed up on Tuesday and crushed. They sold out a lemonade. I was proud of them. Hey, did so, they make the lemonade like with your water hose or no, something? No, no, no. They, they towed it a heavy cooler. Though. They towed it a heavy cooler. They rode their bikes to Walmart. They had to buy all their own stuff, uh. and then they rode their bikes home. Next thing I know, they got a wagon and they're pulling up a cooler. They bought the ice from me, which was funny. So <laughs> we're gonna add, we're gonna add an extra scoop next time. I like this. What you're telling me, you're talking about the generation behind you. Yeah, uh, look at these. Look at them. I got a yeah. picture of them. Yeah. Their sign says "To fund honey hole bait and tackle shop expenses." Oh, okay. 
There you go. They there better. They cup better. For America. I've shopped at the Honey Hole. They better bump that up to three dollars a cup. Yeah. Hey, not as much. I was about to switch with them. Is it pretty good them. lemonade? No. Then we're gonna add a scoop of lemonade. The water. It kind of got watered down on on Tuesday. So next okay. time they do it, we're well, gonna don't add, add too much ice to it. Yeah, add That's a little too it. much yeah. ice. Yeah. But, when uh, you add ice, you gotta add, add some lemon juice. But no, they were out there hustling. So I might come by there. Hey, there you go. They're gonna be there tomorrow. Hey, good lemonade's hard to find. But I like it. They're they're hustling, and I was yeah. proud of them. And I was like, I ain't gonna cut them no deals. I'm just gonna give them spots. And Who I know to them boys. I don't know that I could have made as much money as them because half of it was people who are like proud to see a lemonade stand again in oh, America, yeah. and yeah. they were like proud to see some boys working. Well, yeah. no, no, that's the thing. Yeah. That you got kids. That, hey, hey, okay, I don't mind working. You there tell you them on Saturdays they got a free spot at Duck Commander if they want it. They <laughs> set up right in front of the store. We got shade. There you go. I don't know. They get their bikes. There you go. The hey, when they show up. Call them. I'm just. I'm trying to expand their location. That's they it. got a. They got I a free know. spot under the eave in the shade. They can sell their. When you come, hey, call me. Tell me the upper, and I'll come by a court. A court. They're gonna be the honey on the bar, but uh, they said. <laughs> Tuesdays and Fridays. I was like, I don't know we can do every Tuesday and Friday, but we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. But well, then, you got to tell them they got to spread it out because yeah. then they'll lose the people that are proud of them for mm -hmm. working. Then they'll just think they're getting swindled. So you yeah. got to We got to space know, it out. Space yeah. it out. But up your price to $3. So then call it good. one of my favorite customers then comes in. I think she's about 11 or 12. She never buys anything, but she's still my favorite customer because I'm her customer. She's raising money to like ride horses and go to tournaments, and that girl makes the best red velvet cupcake you have ever had in your life. Oh. <laughs> oh. In your life. And go. she's like 11 or 12. And she'll, she walked in one day, and it was my, my mom's birthday, so I bought a bunch of them, never tried them, and just took them home. And I got home, I was like, "Why? Well, I, I need to find this human and get her on the line because I need her to come back all the time. Six months later, she showed, I said, where have you been? Don't ever go this yeah. long without where, coming here. Where, where have you been? Yeah. And, where have yeah. you been? Yeah. And here's Where's my the number. Red cake yeah. <laughs> Look, so she's got cake, vanilla, boys. chocolate, and red velvet. I, those boys are out there selling lemonade, and then she walks in and looks at me and just smiles. I said, "The red velvet's here." I was fired up. So there I are want some it all. kids working <laughs> hard this summer. How much? How much she she sell them cupcakes for? Ten dollars for four. Ten for four. It's a great deal. You buy she whole make thing. it here? Oh, like, her she mom make drives it? her around. Yeah, tell her to put Duck Commander on her list. I'll tell her to put Duck Commander on her list. It's Showcakes. She even got a thing on Facebook. Showcake. It's spelled like a Louisiana person would spell it. Oh, like S-H-E-A-U or something? Yeah, something like that. U-X or something? But yeah, she raised the money to go ride horses in them tournaments. I think she's pretty good, too. Okay. But I said, <laughs> hey, don't ever pass. When you're coming to West Monroe to sell, you got to pass me from Farmville. Just stop here. Yeah, we got to remind me about tell her. Tell her get over, get on over here and ask for Angela. She get to that front door. I, I got her. <laughs> Good that reminds me of my her. childhood riding horses. Yeah, there's hope. There's every time that was back in the day when I was a child, that the farmers would get together and round up cows for all all the different farmers. They'd do it together. Well, they'd be at the cotton gin, had a haul of horses tied up. And I would jump from one to the other. Sit on it a while. They need to teach them cows like they do in Wyoming. How they taught them, they just come down. They let them go all summer, and then by the October, September, they just start down to the corral. It's wild. Yeah, they'll be standing at the gate. Yeah. Let me in. Yeah, they'll be standing. They'll all be standing. They'll at the all gate. be yeah. standing at the gate. Yeah, yeah. When we've been up there deer hunting for, we've had to stop and let cows in because they was all standing at the gate. So yeah. that they knew blocking the road that that meant they were out of food up in the hills. Yeah, they knew to come down here to get food. They'd all be standing in the gate. They ready to go back home. You open the gate and they all file through. Well, you ain't got to do nothing. Be up in the meadows. They just gone. They just and when it ate them that. down. What is that? A national they would show. They would all show up at the gate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just pretty yeah. cool, huh? That that makes me. What if, if you had a time machine, uh oh, and you could uh -oh. do it, would you go back in the old western days when the, we were settling this country, Bruh, I'm that's so like soft I wouldn't out make day. it for a week. Uh, I think the only place Johnny D's going in time is forward. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the future. <laughs> back to the future, baby. I'd I go think, back. No, nah, that's not true. I'd go back to the 90s. I, I think I would go back. 
to the Western day. To the Western. We need to take a break and discuss. I really, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I and I and I'm like you. I may not be tough enough to take it, but I would not. like. To, yeah, well, I'd like. I, I'd like to delve into that a little more. So let's take a break and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk. Let's talk about where we. Hey, go. kids, yeah. this summer, get a little side hustle, make you some cash. People will be proud. That's of it. it. All right, so time machine. If we had, yeah, if we had a time machine, machine, would we go western? Si says he wants to go the west. So I would go. I western. would go back. He'd I have a like, horse named Trigger. Just think of this though. Horse. Go to the plain states, okay? Too flat. And there would be millions oh. of buffalo. Of buffalo. More than that. <laughs> you know, I just, I, you know, I look because the few I've seen. No, no. The few I've seen, this thing is huge. A buffalo is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've seen a couple? But you think that you could you know, ride across this. A buffalo? To talk. Uh, no. I would ride. Well, hey, a look, Mango rode a buffalo. The guy on a buffalo rode a buffalo. <laughs> but anyway, ride right across the country where you could see, literally, you would have to stop and let him go by. And it might take the whole day for him to go by. He's a guy on a buffalo. That would be pretty amazing to see, though. Oh, no, to see that. Godwin, you got a time period? Godwin, I think Godwin's going back to like Renaissance. 12, 12, 1300 or something like that. He's going to be a castle. He's going to be a castle and moat kind of guy. But I, I, I'm I not going to choose for you. I don't know where I'd go. I'm kind of like I'd be a mountain man. So you go in there, I'm too? In the mountain. Now, see, that's boat. That's boldness. Because I was wanting to be going back to the west, west if I could be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Now, he's talking about becoming one of the pioneers that actually, you know, blaze trails for all the rest of us, you know. Yeah, I'm out on that. I would go back to like 1996, right before everybody got a uh, car phone. Oh, I was good. When I, the world was great. I thought you were going to say offended. It was better. Well, yeah, nobody was offended either. Yeah. And if somebody needed you, they'd call your house, and if you weren't there, they'd wait. I yeah. Low key, I'd like to go back to like Jesus. Because yeah. you know, I'm just saying. What an you know, answer. No, but I, you know how you're cool, a better Christian than the rest. No, of them. <laughs> go back to when I want to go back to back when I want to go back time. to when that sea got parted. Because I think that would be cool. Like when the Red Sea got parted, oh, that, would, that would be tight. Hey, like I'd like to see that. that actually, like if I had to pick a single event from then, I would love to go and watch that thing just go. Whoop. I was just fixed to say that's that cool. happened about something comparable happened a couple of years ago when we was down there in the Bahamas. Okay, we were staying where Taylor Swift. I think it was her summer summer house how is this comparable to moses in the river no no look there's a giant rock out there in the ocean ocean liners was coming between the giant rock and us where we were staying i come home like you know from vacation go to days and practice my music that's when i had the band and he said oh let me show you what i seen on on i was looking through my computer the other day so he gets on his computer and brings it up He's got a picture of that giant rock, except uh-huh. there's one thing missing. Taylor this Swift. It's like about <laughs> ten miles. The water is gone. He said Taylor Swift. The water's gone. That's yeah. just the tide. No, 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 no. This is not the tide going out. A hurricane come through uh, there. Oh, pulled all the water. It pulled right. all the water out. But like this is like ten miles now, and people are out there walking around on what used to be ocean liners was going through. Yeah. You don't want to walk around. People out, out there. there walk around picking up seashells. Because that water's coming back. Well, that's what I said. I said, this I said, was this in the news or anything? You know, was it anything really a big deal made of? He said, No. I just found it on a stupid computer. You seen Deep Impact? Huh? <laughs> well, hey, that's kinda like the Red Sea being parted. Yeah. Yeah. I I would like to I would just some of those cool miracle events from the Bible I think would be really <laughs> <laughs> I just think it'd be yeah. really neat. Like, I mean, you, when the sun stood still for three days, I mean, this all kinds of stuff, man. Like, there's there's a bunch of stuff the happening back then. That would be, yeah, I guess that's the, boop. Hey, all them pigs running in the ocean and drowning for three days. The earth was flat. 
for right. three days. <laughs> right. What are you saying three days? It, it was 24 back. hours? 24 I, hours. I, I can't. I, I, I'd have to ask the Bible scholar uh, Owens. Matt Owens. Oh, I was he would tell I'm me. I'm right here. He would tell you where you can find it in it's the Bible. It's in Joshua. Yeah. Hey, it actually stopped, I think, for 24 because it was 12 o'clock noon, I think. Just think about it. They stayed 12 o'clock noon for 24 hours. Joshua yeah. 10, 13. I would probably severely time hop from, like, major event to major event. Uh, if I, you know, yeah, if do you, we if you had the time yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you got to get back somehow. In we theory. stay so, for a day. And, like, there's just some cool points of history. I, but yeah. that's where I'd I start. Know. I'd go back there, and then I'd work my way forward, like, hopping. February 7th, that would, 2010. Something that almost would be, happened hey, to like you, you and you just jump out of there. Yo. I don't know if there's any mountains around there where we parted Red Sea, but hey, if you'd be standing there watching, you know, Moses has done the stick in the. Mm hmm. What about and being then, on hey, Mount Sinai? Thousands of people's camels, mules, horses, donkeys, all Took of off. Go I'm it already barefoot. On dry ground. <laughs> it was one day. Yeah. It was one day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, cause how about somewhere that? Somewhere in the. Uh, was in the but you know watch that fight between David and Goliath like just sit over yeah. there love on the sideline yeah. real quick and watch that watch that slingshot shot get to quick work. fight yeah hey that's <laughs> hey what what no, all right my moving on that story was easy for us to believe David and Goliath David and Goliath yeah because hey we grew up with slingshots and you took down a giant no but we took down everything else <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm oh, serious. So you take, an old, you take an old shoe, like a loafer, cut the tongue out of it, okay, on top, make you, you know, put it in. I'd put, have to stop. No wonder y'all run around, around barefooted. Oh, no. Cut hey. all your shoes up. <laughs> Made them in the hey, you talking about a deadly thing. That thing is a tool a tool of death. A slingshot? Oh, you made the rack oh, yeah, hey. with the. We hunted with it. Raw hide. A 60 yeah. mile an hour rock ain't safe. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> And son, hey, when you it, you, I thought you, you were talking about you the can, one with the no, 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 no. That's that's the uh, we call that something else. But, you know. Pea shooter. Uh, yeah, that's a shooter. Yeah, pea shooter, whatever you want to call. Yeah, the slingshot is actually we use nylon string. Okay, or you could use leather, leather strips. That yeah. was for the uppity people. Yeah. You know? Hey, and look, when you get the hey, had that you get the whirling it. What is the uh? uh Quigley down under. What did they? What's that guy? He was doing something, and ma it was making the noise. A boomerang? No, it wasn't a boomerang. He had some kind of. It, it was a, a the a, a way to communicate. Oh, I don't did know. Did you redo? Well, I you it was some now. movie. I thought it was Quigley down under. Maybe you know. <laughs> and it would make that kind of noise while you was slinging it, and that's how they communicate. But slingshot makes that noise when you get to really swirling it, and then when you let it go, hey, that thing's Wop. deadly because you could put a stick with it, okay, and then it's like a barrel of a gun. You're doing the stick, and wherever you turn the stick loose, you know, you could set up bottles and stuff, and we busted them all the time. Did y'all ever throw it at each other? That was five oh, cents yeah. a piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I my brother was missing two front teeth. Which one? Harold. He got. He was he standing her. behind the oak tree and it ricocheted. Oh. Bam. Whap, whap. Mm. He's missing two teeth. See, I'd love to. That's, I'd stop at a few key points in chi size childhood, too, yeah, just, just to jump. fact check. Somebody. Oh, no, that was the greatest time of my life. And I would, I'd probably stop and see that jacket. I'd stop for sure yeah. and see yeah. that I'd stop in Boston, Massachusetts, jacket. and to go oh. see that jacket oh, yeah. at that yeah. restaurant. Just hey, to yeah, look at it that made me glow in the yeah. night, boys. Just a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, I'm serious. It literally made me glow in the night. That's what I would say. I'd have to just stop. Uh -huh. I'd be that guy standing on the corner, you know, smoking a Lucky Strike or something, whatever they did back in the days. I people that went to Vietnam just to watch Cy have them uh, tires stolen off. Right? Right? That's, that's what I I'd Damn. like to watch that man cross that pond with the engine hey, block. No, no, and yeah. now, hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fire away. We got Fire some away. emails. I'm on my phone, so I might not be as good at reading as I normally am, even though I kind of struggle from reading. But there's one we got to go, and I, it's why I got to read it word for word. There's no other way to do this than to read this word for word because you'd think I was making it up if I didn't. Hi, my name is Aaron, and I'm from Oklahoma. Good country. Good country. I'm in a bit of a situation, and I'm needing some advice. Backtrack. 
Subject line, desperately seeking advice. Okay. What's the situation? There's a girl at work that has a major crush on me, and I like her too. That's a good thing. Here's the problem. Mm. Martin, quit getting nervous. I'll fix that. There ain't no problem here. There's a problem. Oh, there ain't a problem. She's the physical type and likes to show her affection by roughhousing. And by roughhousing, I mean she randomly slugs me in the arm and occasionally the kidney at any given moment. Oh, we got a mountain man kidney puncher. I feel like I'm in the third grade again. (laughs) And she's not what you'd call petite. And at times, I could accurately compare punches to getting hit by a sledgehammer. Everybody claims she does that when she likes someone. From that claim, I'd say she thinks I'm her soulmate. And I've got the bruises to prove my theory. You need to just body slam her. (laughs) (laughs) You got to fight fire with fire, baby. Look, <laughs> I love cause it. I, cause I married, I married a power lifter. Uh oh. This Paula was a power lifter. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm finding, a, I'm finding out something new oh, about yeah. Paula. Hey, you don't want to mess with that woman. Oh yeah, she's, she's a power lifter. You got a body slammer. Uh, body slammer. He says he wants to pursue her, but getting beat up regularly isn't exactly what he's into. Uh, so here's his problem: Should I choose love or personal safety? Please help. Body slam. <laughs> That's what you choose. That'll, hey, that'll you can't stop. body slam a hey, lady? Yeah, you here's, can. here's my deal. Oh, yeah. Hey, you the, can. The girl's a little playful, okay? Clearly. Hey, no, hey, I would say go for it. My man's got I mean, bruises. Hey, I mean, hey, what are a few bruises? Body hey, slam. Body slammer. He said, hey. Body slam? Oh, hey. yeah. Martin. That'll go. I need your, your help. Your, that'll go. you <laughs> It body I, slammer. I, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can pick like, her up and slam her down on. The, I'm talking they're about just onto dating. the couch. Careful I would now, just they say, just hey, who can play it? This, I'm with Diamond. Two can play this guy. Oh yeah. Okay. I was. I don't know. Ball you fished up and hit her in the face. <laughs> Sir. I tend to stay out of all matters of domestic violence. Oh, yeah. oh that ain't gonna be violent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what that's she a, want. Hey, she wants you to hit look, her back. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. Oh, fun? Yeah. He's got bruises. Hey. Oh, yeah. Ask look, the, love ask is the, a tough thing. His skin looks like your shirt. Hey, look. Ask love the punch, is tough, buddy. Ask the punching bag if that's fun. Yeah, hey. hit that sucker. Hit her about where Now, she probably is. is trying to see just how far it'll go before he fights mm-hmm. back. And when you do... You just test. She's probably going to fall madly in love with you, and she oh, may yeah. or may not cut your head off and yeah. wear it for a hat. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hey. Like you go end up on a different podcast, but, like Martin but, says. Yeah, Wonderly. Gonna, yeah, Wonderly going to be talking about you. <laughs> That's what Martin said. That guy that that guy that talks real low and slow going to be telling <laughs> your story, Hammer. Was I a, love it. It was a low, sleepy hey. night in Oklahoma. Mm. David decided to fight back. I don't remember what his Snake name. Snake up Aaron. behind her. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron decided to fight back. No, the yeah. girl's just, just playful. sneak up behind her, get her in a That headlock. doesn't sound playful, but oh, hey. hey. No, it is. It's, well, she might get a little carried away. Okay? Is her she, name Icebox? She's Clearly. playful and very emotional. Because, like, the whole time you were saying that, I'm just thinking of little giants in Icebox. So. Icebox. Uh, hey, uh, Icebox uh, was look, a guy, hey, Bart, right? Uh, or look, no, she might that be like Johnny Ringo. Icebox was his Oh, Spike little, don't play with girls. Yeah. Hey, no, or she might be like Johnny Ringo. She's just a little high strung. But I think God would probably right. give you hey, the best look, advice you could have. Here's, body here's my advice. Yeah. Put a I Conway think. Twitty song on. The girl needs a slow hand. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if he's going tight fitting jeans hey. or I Either way, my man's getting whooped. Not if he hey, body slams. The woman needs a man with a slow hand or an easy touch. I think Goblin is okay. truly probably out of us the only one that can give us advice. I'm yeah. with Goblin. You got a pretty meek woman overall. Mine's lippy. Yeah. He is strong. Hey, she's a body yeah. slammer. I mean, Miss Paula did power lift. I saw the picture That's over it. at their house. Hey. So he ought to know. If anybody knows, I'll be him. That's it. Hey. And I've heard some stories about Gavin. her BC days. I know how tough she was. Hey, look, I'm with Gavin uh-huh. for one reason. Hey, the man is very happy. And he's got a body slammer. Mm-hmm. He got vitamins every day. Oh, hey, yeah. There you go. Hey, drink it while it's hot. That's why I'm saying, hey, put Conway 20 on. Hey, slow hand. And body slam. Hey. 
Body slam. Is that the best? I all right. I'm telling you. I don't know that body slam. Okay, I'm no. bowing out. That's way better oh, than a. It would a no. woman maybe like playful wrestle back. No, you're right. No, that's okay. not gonna work. Hey. You're gonna get hurt. Yeah. But now that I've played that out. Yeah. Man, you gotta go with the body slam. Yeah. Maybe onto a couch. No, a you don't. No, you don't. You get Conway's twenty song. Ah, you gotta knock the air out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Sweep the leg. You take your breath away, baby. Take, take your breath away. Sweep the leg. Hey, and you can do that with nothing. Conway twenty days. She needs a man with a slow hand and an easy touch, baby. I thought you. Hey. You went with. You just said take my breath away, and you didn't go with that Top Gun song. Well, hey, you can. T- hey, a man with a slow hand and easy touch to take a woman's breath away. I'm telling mm-hmm. you. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's all about the mashups. He'll have her oh, following hey. him around like a puppy dog if he does. Apparently, yeah. she already right. is, hey. but more like a pit bull. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's following either. I think she's leading. Hey, I'm with guy one on this. My man. I, it's better. Body slamming is way better than punching in the jaw. That's it. Hey, yeah. don't punch her. Yeah, don't punch her because she liable to knock your two front teeth out. Right. She liable. Well, I guess we might. Because if your advice on. is coming via email. What if A.A. Ron's tiny, though? That's what I'm saying. He, he might be like, "Hey, Aaron, gonna have to sneak her." Yeah, he might be like, <laughs> "I'll cut you a table for her about three foot long." <laughs> Put some nails on one end of it and just swing away. <laughs> well, he he said she was playful, not a zombie. Come on now, <laughs> the Walking Dead's going on in here. <laughs> I don't know what, but we got Hunter. Oh, laughing she'd so love. Hard. <laughs> hey, she, I'm All telling you, you I'm hey. telling you, she'd love it. <laughs> you know what that? You know what it. that tells me? Hunter's had the snot beat out of him by one before. That's <laughs> <laughs> how hard he laughing over here. He said, "Boy, I wish I'd have. I wish I'd have known that when I was 15." But, hey, I gotta go to. I gotta go to my line here. I've always told people I'd rather fight one man or ten men than one woman that's mad. This girl ain't mad. She's happy. Hey, hey yeah, no, no, just she's wait playful. till she gets mad. She's playful. But that's why yeah. I'm telling you. Hey. Yeah. That's why she needs that's body right. Look, that's why I would fight. I would She's fight. A body. I would She's fight a whole football team before I'm gonna fool with one woman that's mad. Cause she'll kill you, okay? <laughs> Cause they're playful. Yeah. We got time for one more because I think we're gonna have to edit some of that part out. <laughs> I don't think hey, so. I'm telling you, answer the boy's question is, hey, get with Conway Twitty and listen to the song. <laughs> I need the man I, with a slow hand and an easy touch. Because there's way more to the song than that. Good luck, A.A., Ron. Let us know how that's it goes. Right. Yeah. That's, that's the best we can do for you, dude. Actually, the most important thing Aaron. you do in this whole situation <laughs> is a follow-up email. Yes. Aaron, please wear a GoPro. Yeah. If you go with the body slam. Yeah, show us the video on this. Now, if you go with that two-by-four thing, do not video it. I, I'm not your lawyer, but I'm requesting you not to do that. Oh, you just use a two-by-four to get her attention. But. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think we've lost it. No, Bible yeah. verse or <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you ain't never seen them. Hey, stop. look, boys, you get when you get in the game of love, it's a tough game. Yeah, you ain't tough. never seen Clearly, them movies where very... them spies they get to fighting a man and a woman. They end up kissing. I'm telling you, body slammer, it's hey, God hey, been on that Angelina Jolie. Me and God were in a complete agreement here. Hey. What happened to me? What, you got body slammed? No, I body slammed her. Oh. No way. <laughs> Ask her. Beth, I'm requesting for Paula to be on an episode very, very soon. If you go if you go talk to Paula about Paula BC, you won't talk about laugh, son. You will laugh. Buddy, them, them is so some clearly, good stories. Well, hey, Paula's always... The flying awesome. flea was body podcast. slamming her. Okay. Well, he had to do something. Hey, next time she's here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the body slamming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just better not. You Look, better. All I gotta say, when you square up with Miss Paula, you better be prepared to fight. Hey, there you go, boys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you better not go half cock because yeah. you gonna get knocked out. Right. Right. Hey. <laughs> what did homie say about it? Homie don't play that. Yeah, let's end it with a Bible yeah. verse. Let's and it. and right. pray for ourselves and a a Ron because this could. Man, if he misses on that first grab of the body slam, that boy in trouble. He is yeah. toast. She about to break him in half, Jack. Oh, and that, I bet, oh, man. But if he can't body slam her, look, here's the good news. It. If you body, here's where I'm going to take this. Then I'm done. <laughs> I'm not. If you body slam her <laughs> successfully. Yeah. 
you have got lifelong devotion from this woman. You sure do. However, if you miss, <laughs> if you miss, it's over. Best not miss. So this is a sink or swim moment for you right here. You can either swim the rest of your life or you're going to sink miserably. So I'm saying when you go for it, don't hesitate. Mm-mm. No hesitation. You're going to get knocked out. Let her know Big you're dog. there. Let her know you're there. Big dog, you about to get knocked out if <laughs> no, you he's hesitate. Not. He's gonna go for it. I don't know that I'm for this. If you if you if you short arm it though, you're in trouble. Oh, you're mm-hmm. you, about you, to, better, you better give it all you got, babe. Yeah. Because she's coming back. That's hey. what I'm saying. <laughs> wow. Alice is different what than was most that other these women song? I'm talking about. What was that what was that other song? Give me your best shot. Yeah, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot, baby. All right. Well, I don't have a Bible verse about Slamming, body slamming uh, your girlfriend. Couldn't find one. Uh, but I'll go with this one. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon for- forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. There you go. That'll work. There you go. That was a body, body slam. slam them. That was a body slam. I body slam them and drink it while it's hot. We'll w- see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. I got to go.